For all who are comfortably able, please stand and join me in our call to worship. From God came the sustenance for people who wandered in wilderness places. That was the bread from heaven. From God comes Jesus Christ, the eternal bread that sustains our lives. Christ is the bread of life. Let us praise God for such wondrous gifts of life.
You may be seated. Welcome to St. John United Church of Christ, an open and affirming congregation where no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. As we get started this morning, I am surprised my voice is holding up as well as it has so far. Throughout service, you may notice some squeaks and cracks. And this is the best my voice has sounded since last Wednesday. So thank you to Judy for being here and helping me in worship. Um, we do have a slight change in the bulletin. We're going to go from the sermon into communion, and then we will do offering. So just a heads up before we get there. Please join me in our gathering prayer. Along life's pathways, we search continually for signs to point us in positive directions. Christ has given us a sign which points us to healing and hope that is the sign of the bread of life. No more shall we hunger and thirst after the things which cannot sustain us. Now we have been fed and nourished by Christ. Open our hearts in gratitude, Lord, for all the wondrous things you have done for us. Open our spirits to hear your words of hope for us today. Amen. The scripture this morning is from the book of John, chapter 6, verses 24 through 35. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the lake, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, very truly, I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, because, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, what must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, this is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, what sign are you going to give us then so that we may see it and believe you? What work are you performing? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, very truly I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
Our scripture today actually starts right after the feeding of the 5,000. So when we think of that, these people have been with Jesus and they get a free meal. They're so excited. So the next day they come back and that is where our scripture is set up. They come back to Jesus asking for another sign. Can we have another free meal? That's what they're asking. They're trying to trick Jesus into getting another free meal. Of course, Jesus doesn't fall for it. And Jesus says, th there's more to this. It's not just about the bread of this life, right? We know we have to have bread. We know we have to have water to survive, right? Jesus isn't saying those things aren't important, but it's not the most important. And so Jesus continues to talk about life and talks about this promise, this crazy, crazy promise that we are given from God. It is the promise of living life. We know that we can survive and live life, but what kind of living is it if we don't have love, if we don't have acceptance from others, if we don't have a community to be with? And so Jesus is redirecting the focus from today's meal, oftentimes the things that we think are important, and redirecting us to really what is important. And it is these crazy, crazy promises from God. These promises of forgiveness. It is the promise of unconditional love, which in this crazy world we know is very, very hard to come by. And it is the promise of acceptance. We know in today's world, as much as Jesus in his world knew, acceptance isn't always easy. Too often we try to fit in rather than being accepted for who we are. And these are the things that Jesus is promising to the people. And so today, Instead of continuing to listen to me like this, I know Craig has been laughing at me all weekend. We are gonna stop talking, slash me. We're going to experience the promise. That is why we continue to gather at the table every single month. We come to this table knowing that it is God's table, not our table that there is a place for every single person because God accepts each and every one of us. No matter who we are, no matter where we are, no matter what we've done or we haven't done, we are accepted, we are forgiven, and we are loved. There is a place for you and there is a place for me at the table. Just as Christ has taught the way of life to us, the church, we have the responsibility of bringing life to the world around us through our ministries and the outreach missions through our connections of faith around the globe. So we gather together as one community of St. John, as the community of the United Church of Christ, and it's the community of the body of Christ around the world. We gather at this table. And as we gather, we remember the story that Jesus gathered with his disciples to celebrate a Passover meal, a meal where they remembered that God was with them every step of their journey and loved them. And as they were celebrating, Jesus took the bread that was on the table 
gave thanks for it and blessed it, then broke it, saying, this is my body, which is broken for you. Whenever you do this, do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, Jesus took the cup that was on the table, gave thanks for it and blessed it, then poured it out, saying, this is my blood, which is shed for you. Whenever you do this, do this in remembrance of me. The body of Christ, the bread of life, broken for you and me, take and eat. The cup of promises, or the cup of the new covenant, shed for you and me, take and drink. Please join me in our prayer of thanksgiving. In confidence of your sure provisions, we lift our hearts to you, O oh God, seeking once again to be fed by your eternal bread. As we break this loaf and lift up this cup, we pray that your Holy Spirit might come upon them and upon us that we might receive true life and strength to live faithfully in your presence in the days to come. Hear us as we offer ourselves to you anew. In the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord, who taught us when praying to say these words, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Let us offer our loaves and fishes in the service of God's kingdom. As a reminder, there are three ways you can give to the church. You can send a check, you can go online, and you can go on the app. Please join me in the offering prayer. Oh God, we share these gifts in the spirit of those who shared their loaves and fishes. We ask that you take these gifts and use them to feed all creation, to produce seed and grain, filling humans and animals alike, and to restore wholeness in the places where malness exists.
Please make sure to check your bulletins for the whole list of announcements. Highlights are that there is a movie night this Wednesday night. It is about a community welcoming a stranger. The youth are having a Hunger Games and Bible gathering on Friday night. So youth, we hope to see you there. Um, and then also our next um, COVID vaccine clinic will be right here out in the parking lot on August 12th. So if you have not gotten your first one or if you're trying to get your second one, August 12th will be right up here in the parking lot. Let us gather in our closing hymn. Go into the world with eyes to see the needs of others, with ears to hear their cries of joy and sorrow, with hands that are ready to give. For you go in the power of God to the children of God. And as you go, may God fill you with peace. May the Holy Spirit, may Jesus Christ fill you with love and the Holy Spirit lead you in hope. Amen. Thank you.